I would like to begin by acknowledging the indigenous peoples of all the lands that we are on today. This place sits on the traditional territory of the Three Fires Confederacy of First Nations comprised of the Ojibwe, the Adawa, and the Potawatomi. While we meet today on a virtual platform, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the importance of the land which we each call home. We do this to reaffirm our commitment and responsibility in improving relationships between nations and to improving our own understanding of local Indigenous peoples and their cultures. We also acknowledge those whose ancestors were brought here against their will as a result of the African slave trade, and we work to eliminate racism in all its forms. From coast to coast to coast, we acknowledge the ancestral and unceded territory of all the Inuit, Métis, and First Nations people that call this nation, Canada, home. The world we made cries out, invest, spend, save yourself. The way of God teaches us to love, care, and serve. The world we made shouts, protect, secure, close off. The way of God teaches us to share, lend, and provide. The world we made threatens, be afraid, be jealous, want more. The way of God teaches us to be in awe, to have compassion, to be selfless. The world we made lies to us about what is most important. But God requires us to do justice, love mercy, and to live in humbleness. May we turn away from the distractions of the world we made. May we listen to God, who calls us to care for the earth, to love one another, and serve Jesus Christ our Lord. Welcome to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for Sunday, February 5th, 2023. Jesus said, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bushel basket. Rather, they put it on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to Yahweh in heaven. Do not think that I, Jesus, have come to abolish the law or the prophets, I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly, I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees and other religious leaders, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. I promise not to break out into Broadway show tunes. The words of Jesus we heard today are a continuation of the Sermon of the, on the Mount, or the Beatitudes, that we heard last week. Jesus calls us to be like salt and light. Any cook will tell you that almost without exception, everything tastes better after you season it. Or in other words, after you've thrown in some salt. Salt can preserve food. If you've ever eaten pickles, You've probably had something preserved with salt. Look around you. Everywhere you look, you can see light bulbs. 
Ever tried going somewhere in the dark? It's usually much easier with a flashlight or if you just flip the light switch. Jesus calls us to be like salt and be light in the world. Jesus calls us to remember, to love, and to put that love into practical action in our often tasteless and sometimes dark world. Be gentle, be kind, be joyful, be brave. Be that light, be salty in all God's many and wonderful names. Amen. Voice over the deep, you spoke and there was light. You spoke and there was water. You spoke and there was earth. You spoke and we and all of creation were made. We confess the voices of this world we made tempt us away, sometimes unconsciously, until we suddenly wake up and realize we have followed the voice of fear, the temptation of wealth, and the pursuit of power. Call us back tenderly, O loving God. Lead us in your paths, O Holy Spirit. Guide us, O faithful one, through the way and the truth and the life of your loving Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. God's steadfast love endures forever, and the same voice over the waters of creation calls to us throughout eternity. There is no place where we can be hidden, no depth where we cannot be drawn out of, no shadows or bleakness where light cannot shine. God loves you so much and desires for you to have an abundant life, a life that helps others. May we live into Christ's ways and work to end oppression and injustice so all may be loved by one another and know God's love in this world. Go with this wisdom and insight that God loves you and loves us all. Amen. And we pray all these things in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. O oh God, our divine parent, May your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities of life, sustenance for our bodies, and inspiration for our spirits. May the forgiveness we give be that which we receive. The kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and distance us from evil. For your world is our world, and your reign our reign, then, now, and always. May it be so. God is with us. Let us lift up our hearts, yes, lift them up to God. Let us pray. Most loving God, we know that you are with us no matter where we are, no matter how we come together. We remember now how you took the bread, blessed it after the manner of your people, broke it, and gave it to everyone there, saying, This is my body, given for you. We remember now how after the meal you took the cup and blessed it too after the manner of your people, and gave it to your friends, saying, This is my love, poured out for you and for everyone. Whenever you do these things, remember me. We remember, too, the mystery of our faith, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Loving God, we give thanks for the opportunity to meet, for we know that whenever two or more gather in your name, even virtually, 
you are with us. Be with us now as we go our separate ways so that we can be your love and your light in a world that so desperately needs it. In all your many and wonderful names. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Your support, your thoughts, your prayers, your clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. And of course, your financial contributions are all gratefully appreciated as they enable us to continue this ministry. If you would like to join us in person at Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor, we meet every Sunday in the Grace Chapel of Emmanuel United Church, 1728 Lincoln Road, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern. Let us pray. Spirit of life, guide us into practices that draw us closer to you rather than the ways of this world. Teach us how to pray. Teach us how to seek you. Lead us into the ways of justice and mercy. Call us into times of reflection and speak to us in ways that help us to follow you. May we not spend only one hour a week, but every moment, every breath, in gratitude for you, our Maker, Redeemer, and Sustainer. Guide us on this journey of faith and life. Amen. And as we go our separate ways, may the God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us all until we can meet again. And all God's children say, Amen.